everybody loves science fiction movies, and everybody loves them because of the special effects. But these special effects cannot be real in, you know, the real life. So we investigated part of the worst errors in science movies, and also the most common. Well, let's, let's check them out. out. Mitra Bernstein Club, an investigator from DARPA, researched the movie and the bad vehicle, and he said that it, the problem with the bat was that it must have generated enough thrust to hold itself off the ground. Since the rotor is beneath the bat, this vehicle couldn't leave very fastly, and also it will show some major stability problems. When the stone maker transferred from the Soyuz emergency escape system to the Chinese station, she takes more than three minutes from fastening her helmet to being inside the station. Uh, her spacesuit does not include an oxygen supply, uh, so it's impossible she could have survived. Sandra Woodock is about to turn off the oxygen. Uh, a couple of tears leave her eye and float up, but actually, they would stay there and form kind of bottles or something in her eye. Because her daughter and Matt turn off his music, he holds up his right arm and looks in the mirror, but the shot of the mirror itself is on his left hand. Time is related to speed, and in many movies we have this idea of traveling at light speed, but actually it is the idea. Traveling at those kinds of speed exacerbates time dilatation. Not just that you're going faster, but actually time passes slower for you. For every hour you spend rushing from one star to the other, many years could happen. So if you travel long and far enough, at fast enough speeds, by the time you get back to air, many of the people could be already dead. What? In movies, explosions in space look pretty much as explosions in real life. They look like big fireballs and pillars of flames, but reality it's nothing like that. An explosion can only take place in Earth because of the interaction between the atmosphere, the explosive, the plane of the ground and gravity. In outer space, since it's a vacuum, those factors are not present. So this would mean that an explosion in Earth would differ from the ones in outer space. Have you ever seen Star Wars? Most of the scenes take place in space, right? But does it, can, does it can be real that we can hear all the fire blast of the spaceships and all the explosion in outer space? Many of these sounds happen in many sci-fi movies and TV series. The problem is that sound does not carry in space. And this is because the sound requires air to travel. And because the vacuum of the space, there can't be air. Therefore, neither sound. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to thumbs it up, share it and subscribe.